I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me on my right is Mia McConnell, and on my left is Melissa Tran. Both are seniors on the Menlo School tennis team. Last week, uh, both players playing at number one doubles uh, went 6-0, and and they started the week off with uh, two victories at the uh, in the West Bay Athletic League. Uh, that kept uh, Menlo's historic streak alive at 220 straight victories. Then they moved on to the second annual Battle of the Bay, playing again again at number one doubles. They teamed for a 4-0 record. Uh, Menlo won all their matches uh, during the weekend, went 4-0. And for their performances, they are the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Co-Athletes of the Week. The week started off um, with a couple West Bay Athletic League matches. Um, the competition isn't as strong, but winning those matches are very important because Menlo's streak is, it's a state record streak, it's an ongoing streak, and those are matches you just really can't lose. Yeah, I mean, every year I get nervous that my year's gonna be the one who's gonna let the streak fall apart. So even though we know the competition isn't as strong as like in CCS or NorCal's, we still wanna come out and play our best and make sure we get the win. And for you last week, again, uh, those are kind of matches that uh, some players actually don't even have to play. Um, Bill can, your coach Bill Shine can give some of the players uh, days off because the competition just isn't as strong, but you're out there for both matches. Yeah, I think he just wants to, as the first time we see them, we want to give them like, oh, you know, we're there. We want to show them how strong we are the first time we see them and, you know, we'll give them a chance to play the second time we play them, but we always want to come out strong first and show um, our, how good we are. At the Battle of the Bay, uh, I had some good matches. You were playing uh, teams from uh, the East Bay, which is, it's always good to play teams that you haven't played uh, and you don't play during the regular season. Uh, Monte Vista Danville, uh, Doherty Valley, Miramonte, teams like that. Uh, I guess the, the matches, you get one 4 0, but the competition was, was pretty good. You had a couple 5 2 matches. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to play tougher teams. Because in our league matches, it's kind of just like, let's get the ball in and get the win and get through the match. But it's nice to go into these more competitive matches and be like, let's be the more aggressive ones. Let's find at the net. Let's try to get this win without just pushing the ball in. And for you last week, uh, again, playing tough teams, uh, what was the highlight? Uh, was there a certain match that uh, kind of stood out for you? Um, I think against Doherty Valley, we, they, were, they would hit really hard, but... Um, you know, I think we use that to our advantage and we use their pace to our advantage and really took that chance to be aggressive and be the ones in control of the point and I really like that. Last year you played number one doubles but you had a different partner, Sadie Bronx. She graduated. Uh, you got paired up with Melissa this year. It's uh, for the first time and uh, it's never easy to break in a new partner but how has it been? It, was it sort of a natural thing? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really natural. It helps Melissa and I have both been on the team all four years, so we've known each other really well. And we've played together, you know, and just like practice matches um, during practice. But I think it's fun playing with each other. And we also like balance each other out. Um, I think she's much stronger in the backcourt and she keeps the ball going. And then I try to find it at the net, especially with her really good serve. So it's really fun playing with someone. And we have good chemistry. And then we also work together well as just tennis players too. Was it a good transition for you as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, I totally agree with Mia. She's super great at the net, and I think even though there might be some hard times, we definitely just bring each other up and keep each other going, even though it might be hard, and we know what to do with each other if we get into a tough point. Menlo is a defending CCS champion. Are you going to successfully defend this year? I hope so. I think uh, the preseason, the, all the matches we've done really well, and I think we have new talent with Taylor and Ashley. So I definitely think we can defend the CCS title. And Menlo is also the defending NorCal champ, and uh, I'm sure you'd like to get back to NorCal and, and win that title again. Yeah, definitely. I think in the Battle of the Bay tournament, we've seen all the comp most of the competition that we might have, and we performed extremely well, so I'm confident that we can perform well. Yeah. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah.